Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Kick your feet up as we talk about keratosis pilaris. You know, strawberry legs, chicken skin, that's all coming up next. It's Bunny. Talk about transparent. Okay, here are my legs, all right, with the little dots. You know, have you ever looked at your legs? You shave and they're all smooth and everything, but you still have these little dots on your legs. And you're like, what is it? Then you just get used to it because you think it's just a part of life. Well, no, not really. There is treatment, all right? This is called keratosis pilaris. Say it with me, keratosis pilaris, and it is caused by a buildup of keratin. Now, keratin is the protein building block of your hair and nails, but it's the protein that helps protect skin from infections and other harmful things. Now, when you get a buildup of this, this blocks the opening of the hair follicle. Now, doctors don't know what triggers the buildup, but it's different from person to person. Here is a diagram showing the keratin buildup around the follicle. And when this is built up, you can also see discoloration. Now that we know what's going on, now that we know the medical terminology of what is happening, we want to talk about treatment. The most common treatment is, of course, we want to make sure that we're exfoliating the skin. And we'll talk about why that's so important. Removing the hair, which is, of course, optional. And then replenishing the moisture of these treatments. And then we'll go into chemical treatments that will help remove dead skin cells as well. These are items that I have purchased along with items I already had at home for this 30 day challenge. An exfoliant, my hair removal process of choice, and something more chemical based to help remove that buildup. Now exfoliating is so very important, especially when we're talking about keratosis pyralis, because we are trying to remove the dead skin cells from the surface of our skin, removing that blockage from the hair follicle, getting rid of that dark or either pink or red, depending on your skin tone, that's causing that bump feeling. We wanna get rid of that. Keep in mind that your skin naturally sheds dead skin cells to make room for new skin cells every 30 days or so. So if we're not removing that then we have build up on top of build up as you see in this diagram this is a microscopic representation of what we want opening up that build up and allowing the hair to come through so this is my exfoliant of choice. You do not have to use this brand. This was just something that was available at my local grocery store. I originally wanted to make brown sugar, lemon juice, water, and honey. Um, so it could be as organic as possible. But this mix seemed to be very, very good. It had its natural oils and it smelled really, really good. But you want something that's going to give you this grainy feel something that's sugar based you can make something at home naturally of your choice but you want something that's going to give you a natural exfoliation to your skin and this particular scrub felt great i recommend using this scrub while you're in the shower you have the steam going you already have the warmth your skin is a little bit more relaxed you're going to get a nice ample amount and you're going to rub this all on the areas that you have a concern with just for a nice little while give yourself a nice massage don't do it too abrasive too too hard this is your skin and you want to be patient it's going to take time it's going to take time for you to see differences in your skin so don't think that you're going to see results in one treatment this is why it's a 30-day challenge because remember your skin naturally sheds dead skin cells to make room for new cells every 30 days or so so if we're exfoliating we're helping with this process and we're helping preventing blockage now that I've exfoliated, I choose to remove the hair. Make sure that you use a shaving gel because that will help with any friction of the blade. Also, it's recommended to use a shaver with three plus blades on the actual razor. This will prevent you from shaving over the same area more than once. You want one smooth swipe and make sure that you dab any excess water. 
Now it is time to replenish the moisture. We've exfoliated, we've shaved. Now we have to make sure that we give our skin back that moisture. Now, some dermatologists say don't use oil-based products because you can maybe put extra oil into the follicle, but it's up to you. But I have coconut oil, 100% aloe gel, and something that I got from Bath & Body Works to place on the skin, but you can use anything. Just make sure that you moisturize that skin. Now, for those of you who want to take the chemical route, that's fine. You have science on your side. We have AHAs, the alpha hydroxy acids, and we have the BHAs, the beta hydroxy salicylic acids, okay? These work both to unglue, quote unquote, these bonds holding these dead skin cells on the surface. Now, once these bonds are broken, then gently and evenly the skin naturally sheds these old skin cells, all right? So you want see these with your eyes. This is something that will be happen happening microscopically, but it will help with the look of not only the pigmentation, but loosening up that clog pore and you not feeling that bumpy feel that is on the skin. Now, I will have a list of items of good AHA, BHA products, but an example of one of these is the BNC Skin Tight Extra Strength Roll-On. And if we see, it has that salicylic acid that will help with that, which is a beta hydroxy, okay? Now, I know there's a lot of YouTubers that say, hey, this is what you do, this is the treatment, and then they don't give you any follow-up, any before and after, so you get really, really discouraged that it works. But I just want to show y'all proof in the pudding that of this rice water challenge that I came back in 30 days. I showed y'all the treatment, and I showed y'all how it works, so I will be back in 30 days to prove and show to you my results of this, okay? So stay tuned. In the meantime, subscribe. And I don't know if you noticed, but I subscribe to whomever subscribes to me. Make sure that you have your settings correct, okay? So you can see who's subscribing to you. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any post. And follow me on Instagram at the same profile name, officialbun underscore E. Check out those playlists, those amazing movie and television show recaps and discussions. I'll see you in 30 days. Bye!